Welcome to our channel, Adventure Enthusiasts. Today, we are embarking on an incredible journey to witness one of nature's most breathtaking spectacles, the annual migration of sandhill cranes in Wilcox, Arizona. Tens of thousands of these majestic birds travel thousands of miles to escape the harsh winter and find refuge in the warm wetlands of the Wilcox Play Yard. Wilcox, Arizona serves as a vital wintering ground for the Rocky Mountain population of sandhill cranes. The unique combination of climate and abundant food sources makes this place a haven for these beautiful birds. Each year, from October to March, thousands of sandhill cranes make their way here from their breeding grounds in the northern United States and even further north. As the sun sets on the horizon, the sky becomes painted with an array of colors and the sandhill cranes arrive in droves. The sound of their distinctive rattling calls fills the air, creating an unforgettable symphony of nature. It's an awe-inspiring sight to witness these magnificent birds descending gracefully from the sky. Sandhill cranes have been as far north as Alaska and even eastern Siberia. The sandhill cranes are not only known for their incredible migration, but also for their fascinating behavior. They are highly social birds and form strong pair bonds that can last a lifetime. During their time in Wilcox, they engage in courtship displays, dancing and vocalizing to strengthen their bonds and communicate with one another. What makes these cranes so special is that they have their earliest known fossil record of any extant bird on Earth. In the 1920s, a 10 million year old crane fossil, believed to be a direct sandhill crane ancestor, was discovered in Nebraska. Wilcox provides the cranes with an abundance of food, particularly in the form of insects, seeds, and tubers found in the marshes and wetlands. Additionally, the relatively mild winters here ensure they have access to open water and suitable roosting spots. The area's conservation efforts and protected habitats have been crucial in ensuring the sandhill crane population thrives during their winter stay. In order to maintain the delicate balance of this ecosystem and protect these magnificent birds, various organizations and wildlife enthusiasts have worked tirelessly to preserve their habitat. The morning is the time when the sandhill cranes prepare for their daily journey to feeding grounds. Their synchronized takeoff is a sight to behold. Showcasing their strength and adaptability, these avian travelers embark on daily feeding expeditions and return to their roosts at sunset, make Wilcox a true sanctuary. They can fly it at a speed of 25 to 35 miles per hour and typically travel 200 to 300 miles on their migration travels. With a good tailwind, they can reach up to 500 miles in a single day. 
their wingspan is six to seven feet, and their lifespan is twenty to forty years. Cranes are opportunistic flyers. They rely on thermals and tailwinds to carry them along. Thermals are rising columns of warm air, and when southerly winds start to blow in March and early April, you will see cranes testing them for flight conditions. Cranes ride thermals so efficiently that they have been seen flying over Mount Everest at about 28,000 feet above sea level, an altitude where many commercial airlines fly. Their bills and feet are important tools. A crane's bill is very sharp and sturdy, useful when probing frozen soil. The edge are serrated to grasp slippery food like worms and snakes. Not only is it used for preening, it is also used as a weapon. The feet and legs work in conjunction with the beak, the foot. Has three long toes with claws on the end. These claws are very sharp and can be used for scratching in dirt to find food and for protection. When a crane is threatened, it will use its wings to maintain its balance and then jump up and strike at the attacker with its feet. Have you ever wondered how cranes stay warm while standing for hours in near freezing water? They can reduce the amount of blood that has to be warmed by constricting blood vessels in their feet. Also, the arteries and vessels in their legs are right next to each other, so that colder blood is warmed before it reaches the body. As our journey comes to an end, we can't help but be humbled by the sheer beauty and resilience of the sandhill cranes. Their annual migration to Wilcox, Arizona, is a reminder of the wonders of the natural world and the importance of preserving these vital habitats. But first, I have a question for you, Eshan.、Mm -hmm. What is the folklore meaning of a crane visiting your yard?、Hmm. As well as being a symbol of Prosperity. The crane can symbolize justice and retribution. Their visit to you may indicate that you will rectify a wrong, get closure over a troubling event, or expose someone. Ah, interesting. Join us in our next adventure as we continue to explore and celebrate the beauty of Mother Nature. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated on our future wildlife adventures. Or, if you like, you can buy us a coffee. Until then, take care and stay well. Bye. Bye.